Good morning everyone, I hope you've had a lovely weekend. Today I'm going to be explaining your week's literacy. Let's have a look at Monday. This week we're going to be continuing our book and on Monday you'll be writing all about literacy. So we'd like to know what you've learnt in literacy this year. Lots of you have learnt to write, to read, to use your finger spaces, your capital letters, adjectives, conjunctions. You can write that all down into your page. Don't forget to show us when you're writing what you've learned. So when you're writing, remember to use your capital letters, your finger spaces and your full stops. And for some of you, you may wish to add a conjunction such as the word because or and. And you can even add in an adjective. So this year I learned to write and I can write like a superstar. Tuesday's literacy is similar to yesterday, but we're going to be writing all about maths. What have you learnt this year? I know lots of you worked really hard on your doubles and can double really easily. So you could write that into your book. So I, finger space, can, finger space, double, finger space, numbers, full stop. What else did you learn in maths this year? You can count on a number line. You can use a tens frame. You can double, you can half. You can add two numbers together, and some of you can even take away a number from another number. Wednesday's literacy is all about your favourite part of the year. Now, for me, I had so many different parts that were my favourite. I really enjoyed seeing all of you use your super confidence to take part in our Christmas show. I really also enjoyed when we had the mini beasts come in. Who remembers holding the African land snail? It was really slimy and cold, wasn't it? Did you enjoy our kissing hand topic or our bog baby story? I want to hear all about it. and Don't forget to add your adjectives. On Thursday, you're going to be writing all about year one. So next year, what do you want to learn about? What classroom will be yours? What are you looking forward to most? You could even write, if you don't know yet, who you'd like your teacher to be. It'd be a good opportunity for you to think of all your things that you want to learn, all the topics you want to cover, your dinosaur facts you want to find out. Today's literacy, we're going to be using busy things. And here it says... What is on dog's easel? Use your words to describe it. So we have in, top, dog, A. So I would put dog in a top, dog, in, I can click it and I can drag it over, in, A, top. Dog in a top. Let's try another one. What's on cat's table? Arrange the words to describe it. Hmm. Now I can see that the word the has a capital letter. So I believe that's the first word. So the ring has a king. Mm, that doesn't sound right. The king has a ring. That sounds right. Let me try it. The king has a ring. Full stop. Keep trying. Oops. Have another go. I put it in the wrong place. Try again. The king. The king has a ring. How many sentences will you be able to do? Each day, your phonics group practices a, a sound or a set of sounds, but it's really important that you continue with all of your sounds. So go back through the ones you've already learned and continue to practice these. Can you hear them in sentences? Can you play I Spy with them? I know lots of you have been practicing your handwriting and it's really showing in what you're putting on Seesaw. It's fantastic to see. Make sure you keep up practicing, remembering your here we goes. And a good way to remember that is when you're writing your letters, Remember, if you start on the line, 
you'll be fine. Because that way you get your leading stroke into each letter. Have a wonderful week. We can't wait to see what you get up to.